Hey there folks, Foggy here. Welcome to my year of solo board gaming. Uh, we are on day 102. Uh, now we are playing a uh, abductor pack. Uh, this is the first abductor pack that was available for... Actually, I think it's abduct, yeah, abductor pack number one. Uh, this is Connor E. Ogden uh, and has some special uh, special abilities. Um, now, let me read the... Let me first read the little background here. By the way, the initials, I'm not sure if you caught that, CEO. Uh, Connor, the CEO of a billion dollar company, just watched his empire crumble around him. This company's stock has plummeted in value, falling by nearly 70% in two days. Now the board of directors has just for informed Connor that he's being asked to step down. He does not have decisions such as this made for him, so he's decided to show the board members that he is the one in charge. And it's not their position on the board that they are at risk of losing. Uh, that they are at the risk of losing. The stakes are much, much higher. So Connor starts off with a special ability. There's all sorts of special things about this game. Uh, so first of all, we start off with a major demand face up. Uh, this is always in play when Connor is the abductor. Uh, we may spend five uh, during any uh, conversation uh, to ignore the abductor's ability for the rest of the game, and there's no penalty for conceding. So we can get five conversation points. We can use that, and then we don't have to worry about the ability at any point. Uh, the other major demand is face down. We have to reveal that one. Then when there's an escape demand as well. There are also uh, specific tarot cards for Connor that were shuffled in and are, could be part of this deck. They might not be. There was a special escape demand that was uh, might be here, might not be. And there are also some uh, special conversation cards. Now, these are internal influence. And basically, these are a hostage that is on the inside that has found a way to communicate with you. Now, you can talk to that hostage uh, as best you can. However, the risk is if you fail, you not only lose these cards for the rest of the game, you could potentially lose the hostage as well. So those are there. I'm going to put these in, in numerical order. That's three, two, and one. So I know it's a little bit off to the side, so I do apologize for that. Uh, let's see if I can move this back over a little bit so you can see them. There we go. Uh, we still start off the same way. We still start off with our basic six cards, but uh, Connor has a special ability. No patience. No more than four conversations may be played. Conversation cards may be played during each conversation phase. Cards played face down count towards that total. So if I get, if I play one card and then have to use two cards to uh, to get a success, that's three cards played. I can only play one more card after that. So I think my first first thing that I want to do here is I want to get some re demands revealed. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is play the reveal a demand card because this could unrevealed demands can potentially skyrocket your threat level really quickly. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we rolled it off. So we got a three and a four. We are going to go ahead and we're going to play use two cards to bring that down Uh, to a success, which means that we get to reveal a demand or get plus one. We'll reveal a demand. Uh, major demand, when this demand is revealed, well, that sucks. So he's killed two hostages already. We are going to lose if we lose five hostages. So that that blows. That was a bit of a shocker. Um, wow, that really sucks. Uh, so now, uh, I guess the other one we're going to do is try to get some points in here because right now we've got nothing uh we have absolutely nothing uh for points actually we're gonna hold on to this one i think we're gonna we're gonna try to reveal that other demand we're just gonna go for it we're not gonna have any points to work with on the next round so we do get one success out of that we can reveal the other demand uh helicopter spend four during to concede during any conversation we get a plus one however the abductor escapes at the end of it so a bad situation uh, so these are going to get discarded. We now have zero points to spend for the next round, so we can't buy anything, uh, unfortunately. So we're going to put these back here and reveal a tarot card. And the tarot card that comes up, return a conversation card to the available area. Oh, man. Uh, I guess we will return keep cool. Well, all right, so I have one card to work with. <laughs> Uh, all right. Um, we might as well try to see if we can get some conversation points out of this. This this really does blow. All right, we get two conversation points. Woohoo! So that gets discarded. That gets put over here. We've got two points to work with. Uh, we will go ahead and pull all of these, 
and I'm going to try to calm him down, I think. Try to see if I can't get him a little bit closer to the S. And that's all I can really do. I, I can't do anything else. So, minor demand. A new suit. Mine has blood on it. This demand may only be conceded after one or more hostages are killed. Uh, negative one. No hostage may be saved as a result of this effort. Uh, penalty for conceding, none. All right, well, two hostages have been killed, and we will go ahead and take that as negative one, and that is conceded during this next round. We cannot save any hostages this round, but uh, we weren't going to be able to anyway. We're going to try to play Just Stay Calm, try to see if we can't get him even more calm down. Uh, we get one and four. So we're going to go ahead and use our two reveal cards to get him calm down by one. And we can do one more card, so we're going to go ahead and do the small talk. This comes back over here. Uh, again, actually, we're going to hold on to the small talk card. We're going to play keep it cool. And we do succeed, so we're now down to one. So that's good. Uh, these get discarded. We have hit our limit of four. Uh, we have no points to work with, so we'll just simply take that and bring that back in. And we'll reveal a card. I can make you very wealthy. Roll a die. If the die is... Uh, if the result is greater than the number of cards in your hand, you may take a conversation card with a cost equal to or less than the number rolled. So right now I have three cards in my hand. That means if I get four, five, or six, I can take any card that is six all the way down, which is great. I got a four. So that's good. I can actually take the four. I could get some points. I could take one of these. Uh... That'll buy me some more time. That'll get me a hostage out of here. Uh, this would be good because that would allow me to get that concession over there for one for one conversation point. That might be our best bet. We could also just take this just take home card. What do I want to do here? It's got to be four or lower. I don't think I have to worry about the, the, the demand over here. I have to worry about getting conversation points. I think I'm going to go for the bold life. I think I'm going to go ahead and pull that. All right. So the rest of these do come back. Uh, zero, 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 and two, just a calm. All right, and we start our next turn. And this time we have three dice to work with. So we're gonna tell a bold lie. We're gonna start off there. Try to see if we can get this guy. So if we if we knock this down, if we get the, the, two, st the two shields, we save two hostages, because that'll lower by one, and then two more, we save two hostages. All right, so I got a four, four, and a six. Um, I'm going to go ahead and trade in two cards for that because that is still worth that is worth it. Uh, we will get uh, one point for the double success there, and this will come down all the way down to the starting point, and we save two hostages. Now remember, if we lose five hostages, we've lost the game, so we need to be careful about that. We now have one last card that we can play, and that's going to be small talk. We're going to try to get some conversation points out of this. We'll get at least one. We'll get at least one conversation point. Uh, we got one conversation point. Okay, that's awesome. Boy, this is a rough game. Uh, so we'll get rid of all these. We've got these to can bring back. Uh, we're going to get two. I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to get a f this few more minutes, and we'll work with that. These come back to their various spots. Zero, zero, zero. That technically should have stayed discarded. And we'll reveal the next card. When I find out who it is, choose one internal influence card, conversation card, and remove it from the game. Uh, we
we are going to, I think we're going to get rid of this one. All right, so we're going to play this one. Just a few more minutes. We're going to try to get some uh, conversation points out of this. We did. We got four conversation points. That is huge. Uh, do I want to do anything else? If I do keep cool, I can actually get him to save one more hostage and potentially get another conversation point out of it. So I think I'm going to do that. So I got a six, one, and four. I'm going to go ahead and just take the take the hostage uh, because it continues. We continue to make it safer. So we've saved another hostage. And I'm going to trade these last two in for two conversation points. So that puts me at six. These go get discarded. And now we've got four hostages left. Uh, I think it's time for a major extraction. Uh, a major extraction means that I will be pretty much ready to, to go. However, I won't be able to do anything else. Uh, I will get the zeros. I'll go ahead and take the zeros. We could do minor extraction twice, uh, which would give me a little bit more flexibility. Um, all right, we're going to do that. Now I think I just want to make sure if, uh, if we clear all the hostages, the abductor has been captured. I think it's it's trying to figure out how I can capture the abductor because there's not really Okay, you have to save one more hostage on top of everything else. So, that's how. So, once we save these two hostages, or these four hostages, if we save one more hostage on top of that, the abductor is captured and then the game ends. Uh, we we don't have to worry about the second in command. Yay. Because that only kicks in if the if the second command is eliminated. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is we actually are going to try to do a minor extraction. We'll lower this back down to zero like we're supposed to. Did we? Did we? We didn't draw a tarot card. Sorry. Make a threat roll. All right. Saved a hostage. Yay. All right. So now we're looking really good. Uh, we will try to do the minor extraction. We're going to hope for two successes here. We got it. Two successes. That's two hostages saved. And that means if we do this last one and we're successful, we win the game. Game's over. So that'll be quick. That'll be like under 15 minutes. So I'm sure some of you will be very happy about that. That's a shield. I just, I just lost a shield over there. Yes! All right. Uh, we've saved two more hostages. Uh, so that hostage is saved. This Connor is captured. He is successfully dealt with. We still even have two cards left in our hand. We still have or three cards left in our hand. Uh, but we did it. Two minor extractions, and the game is over. Uh, and that is a Hostage Negotiator. We're going to come back uh, tomorrow with a different game. But I hope you've enjoyed these. Uh, the, the common criticism of this game is it is luck-based. It is a very luck-heavy game. Um, but I do think that there's enough uh, interesting things here uh, that it, the game is still interesting. The game is still fun to play. Uh, there is a bit of a risk involved. Uh, and the other abductor packs, I'll just show you the other ones because I'm not going to go through uh, the rest and play them. Um, but we have abductor back two, which is basically two twins. Uh, and that can have a serious impact on how the game is played. Um, there are decide cards with this one uh, that you'll have to draw uh, that can decide whether or not to, uh, how that will affect the game. Uh, abductor pack three is, uh, there's a Lieutenant Jackson a member of the police force. Now, not only is this part of the game uh, that you have one of your own as the captor, there's a Stockholm Syndrome tracker. And basically, uh, on these cards, however, they are still in play. However, they may not, may not be saved until specifically stated on a card. 
There are some special conversation cards that come about um, that specifically address the lieutenant. Uh, there are some specific tarot cards, as there are all with, with all of them. Abductor Pack 4 is Gonzalo Herrera, and there is a bus that the, is part of this, and this has different locations that you are the bus can go to, and that has different effects on the game as well. Um, but there's a lot of like interesting little variety. You can see a lot of the things that led to uh, led to Final Girl in here, uh, and I'm really looking forward to Final Girl at the end of the year. Uh, I did get the Season 2 and Season 1, so those will all be showing up together. Uh, second Command is regular. One of the things that's always difficult is going back through here and trying to find the cards that were specific to uh, Connor. However, they do all have a nice convenient little briefcase logo in the bottom, making them easier to spot. So that takes care of those really quickly. Uh, major demand, uh, those are all okay. The rest of the tarot cards are over here. So that is briefcase. Briefcase City. So you can see some of the other uh, some of the other cards here. You've got like a, this is going nowhere. So you kill a hostage. You moment of weakness. You save a hostage. Getting angry is going to add two. Um, you add more hostages uh, to the pool. One, two, or three hostages. That's inc insane. There is one in here that is uh, simply get rid of half the remaining tarot cards. That is like if you get that early, that's devastating. Like, I think I got that once on the second turn of the play, so I had to get rid of the next four cards. That just, that nearly ended the game right there. Uh, there's one escape card, too, that is specific to Connor, and that is the Learjet. Uh, spend four to concede during any conversation. However, you immediately move the threat marker to S, and then the abductor escapes at the end of the conversation. So that is uh, that is specific to Connor. But that's, uh, that's the game, and I will see you all later. Uh, see you tomorrow. Ciao, everybody.